but just the fact that people one people um are calling to black people to come to the aid of Asians just to tell you that people are very very well aware of the troubles and tribulations that black people experience here as a daily basis even when they turn their backs to it so you what's up you guys it's your girl sandra welcome back to the channel um you're watching sandra said what and today we're going to be discussing a topic that's very near and dear to my heart and we are going to be talking about how i've noticed how this culture that i live in currently which is in the united states of america the reason why i like to specify where i live because i know different experiences are different elsewhere so i want to specify that i'm talking about this particular culture i can only speak about two cultures which is united states culture american culture and haitian culture which are two cultures that i've immersed in i've grown up in and i've gotten to know so those are the cultures i feel like i personally can really truly talk about so today we are really talking about how I noticed black people are really used as scapegoat in this society, in American society. So again, like I mentioned, I am Haitian born and raised. I have seen um, how things operate in my culture and American culture. And I noticed that a lot of black people are basically blamed for high crime rates. Um, black people are basically blamed for poverty that they were forced in by white people in this country. Yeah, so black people are basically blamed for poverty that they were forced in by white people in this country in the first place. They are basically even blamed for white people attacking other groups of people. And I'll get into that. So recently, so we know all the trials and turbulations that black people do as a group in the United States and Americans are very arrogant, very narrow minded and have very limited experience outside views on how the world works and operates. So this is where the world begins and ends for a lot of Americans. And so Americans really take whatever ideas they have about black people that has been portrayed to them in America and apply it to all black people worldwide with few exceptions. When I say a few exceptions is that it gets worse. Like no matter how bad they think it is here, black people here are, and they think it's even worse elsewhere. And that's a different story. Okay. So, so I have noticed that black people tend to get a lot of their backlash when things happen in this culture. I'm from Haitian culture. So when black people in America do something, just an example, it is American culture to me to us Haitians it's not black culture and to me and to us it's American culture so what I'm saying is not to diminish their blackness never I like I, I love black people like black people anywhere Haiti America wherever I love black people right but I'm saying what I'm trying to say just so I don't get my words misconstrued is that when we see something negative within American culture we blame the culture but Americans white Americans specifically would like to use that and blame it on black people for example let's say um, music right uh, I listen to rap hip-hop I'm not gonna lie you know I'll be with all that <laughs> so but I'm not gonna lie okay okay I listen to Haitian music as well I listen to French music because we're also a French speaking country and Spanish music Okay, so I have had my fair share experience with different types of music. And in Haitian culture, we do not curse in our music. We do not curse in our music. We do not use profanity. A lot of our music, we have different genres of, of music. Like if it's um, carnival music, if it's more love music, we have different genres. As do Americans. But I realize the genres of music in America is very segregated. Because if I say hip-hop... Then you associate that with black music but if i say country then you associate that with white music you see what i'm saying america as much as people would like to think is progressive and has advanced and has desegregated it hasn't in a lot of aspects so american culture is still very segregated so when they when artists black artists are used to force out negative self images about black people um it really reinforced the stereotype threat 
because that's what they want they want black people so want black men are forced because i say forced because not that someone's holding a gun to your head but if i am in a position of disadvantage financially and my only means out as far as i'm told over and over is to get into the rap music i'm gonna do anything that i can to um achieve that success right because again in america it's really reinforced you know the only way black people can succeed is to through sports or rap music again i've talked about the stereotype threat before and what it is is basically putting out an image a self-image to a person about themselves and they eventually believe it and it becomes true and the circle the cycle repeats them repeats itself so yeah okay so if i say rap music you associate that with black people and those people behind the scenes that even allow an artist to be successful by that i mean push them through force them to the public fund them um get them airplays um provide them resources help them become successful only want them to speak about certain um topics which is usually coming from poverty violence disrespecting black women mainly um that's the idea that they reinforce particularly in hip-hop music but when you think about it other genres of music talk about different things similar things country music talk about it um rock and roll talk about it um rock and roll talk about um doing drugs all the time it's just it's not as the language is not as overt so it's not like as soon as you think rock and roll you think of these things but when you think hip-hop you think the b word you think um you know shooting somebody but that's the message they allow out and they force out to black people right but even me as a haitian again if i'm coming to american culture i'm hearing this music and that's all i'm hearing is murder murder kill kill um killing people um this be that this bitch that they bad that what i'm thinking is wow american music is horrible oh my gosh this is american you call this music but in american culture it's like this is black music so black people are really used as a scapegoat for american culture in a lot of things is what i'm saying or if we start talking about another let's pick another subject not music let's hmm let's see okay so let's also take american arrogance americans i know believe it or not <laughs> americans are extremely rude and selfish as much as they want to believe otherwise that is the reality me i'm saying americans right but it is used that black women have attitude black women are this black women are that it's not black women and not to say it's only black Americans that have these characteristics but this is just to show you how it's been ingrained in our brain to align all these negative American behaviors with black people and black people are basically used as the scapegoat for a lot of terrible American behavior when we think about drugs who is doing most of the drugs I tell you right now it is not black people who is selling drugs doing cocaine like it's common it's normal people who are doing um heroin right again they use the rap music to put out these negative self images about black people indicating that this only happens in black culture but it's not it's americans that are doing these behaviors and it's white people doing a lot worse things that are never mentioned for only for black people to take the blame worldwide now another topic i want to bring up is the recent um violence against asians okay we have the coronavirus which is said to have originated in china which is an asian country so there has been a lot of recent violence against asians this group of people was shot up in a nail salon by a white man he killed several people and shot up many others and so a lot of the violence against the asians have been happening because now we have the coronavirus people it's been here for oh my god over a year now and people have been dying and a lot of the asian countries are being blamed you know by people that's the idea okay just an example so now i was shocked to learn that 
black people are really being blamed for the rise of violence against Asians. Like literally, we cannot catch a break. First of all, it started with people blaming black people for not coming to the rescue of Asian people. Right? So I don't believe that anyone needs should be abused, deserve to be abused for any reason. In their minds, black people, you deal with this all the time. And so you, this should be second nature to you. You should know how wrong this is. You should know how terrible this is. You should know how awful it is to be experiencing racism on a daily basis. You should know how it feels to be hurt and disrespected and be attacked and be murdered on a daily basis because you've been dealing with this for 400 years. Why are you not coming to the aid of Asian people? I will never be against anyone speaking up against injustice. But just the fact that people, one, people um, are calling to black people to come to the aid of Asians just tell you that people are very, very well aware of the troubles and tribulations that black people experience here as a daily basis, even when they turn their backs to it. So you're telling me that, hey, I've always known what you was experiencing. You just never said anything. Not to say no Asians have ever protested for black on behalf of black people. No Asians have not ever done anything. But for majority of the time, it is black people fighting for their own lives in this country. Let's be real. People have always been aware of what black people have experienced. They just did not care to speak up or fight for black people. Right? Because even Asians are anti-black. You're calling black people to come sacrifice themselves for other people. Why is it that black people are being singled out to come to the aid and to the rescue of everyone else? Why are you not calling on your Caucasian allies, those who should be anti-violence against Asians? Why are you not calling against the Hispanics to come fight for you? Why are you not calling out to um, Indians to come fight for you? Why are you not calling other groups to come fight for you? Why are you only singling black people out? This is what I mean about using black people as scapegoats because they have all these other groups of people. Now you want to make us the bad guy for crimes that white people are committing against you. There are a lot of people that are actively blaming black people for the violence caused against Asians when we know that white people are known to commit anti white i mean anti-black anti-anything crimes it is white people white males specifically who are usually the perpetrators of hate crimes and people are literally blaming black people for attacking asians i think there was a video that went viral of a black person attacking an asian person and even with this white man that went and shot up the nail salon killing several people Black people are being blamed for violence against Asians. Black people only make up 10 something percent of this population. It is almost impossible for black people to be the majority of people causing the violence against Asians and black people are used as a scapegoat. I'm not saying what's happening to Asians is right. I'm not saying that nobody should come to Asian aid. I'm not saying that um, we should ignore violence from black people against Asian people. I'm pointing out the fact that no matter what's done, no matter how bad it is, no matter if we're just sitting back and minding our business, somebody always find a way to come and blame us for shit that we did not do. Meanwhile, white people get a pass when they are the ones committing the crimes. It does not make sense. Black people are used as a scapegoat for everything in this country. For poverty, we're blamed for that. As if we're the one using up all the um, resources, using up all the welfare resources. When we know a majority of people that is on welfare, not that I'm against welfare at all. I understand the purpose of it and why it was created. I think it's a great thing for this country to help those that are in a certain situation stay on their feet. But what I'm saying is, majority of people that are on welfare are white people. Majority of people that commit crimes in this country are white people. Majority of people that um, commit any kind of violence just by the population alone is white people. But yet, almost everything negative is synonymous with black people. It makes no sense. So, 
that was just my observation on how I see that black people are always used as a scapegoat for any shit that goes in this country, whether it's terrible music, whether it's um, rude American arrogance, whether it's violence against certain groups. Black people are blamed for shit that we are not even doing. We're blamed for minding our own business. Like, we're blamed for just existing. And it is so frustrating to watch over and over. But when we are the ones struggling, no one comes to our aid. Hmm? They created a hotline to report anti-Asian hate. Where is the hotline for my black self to report anti-black hate? They have passed the law to help protect Asian from this violence as they should have. I'm not saying this thing should not exist for Asians. I'm saying it should have been existed for black people. And it doesn't. And it probably won't in a long time. It's always wait tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Let's make small progress. One step at a time. No, we need to take a thousand steps ahead because we're a thousand steps behind. It's always tomorrow, tomorrow, a day away. It needs to be today. It needs to be 400 years ago. It is very frustrating to keep watching black people be the scapegoat for American culture. So that was just my observation and I just wanted to share it with you. I don't know if anyone agrees or disagrees with me, but I would really love to hear your thoughts on this anti-Asian hate, um, on this cultural, <laughs> it's cultural massacre against black people in every way. And I feel that we deserve better and I feel that we have to be more careful in the way that we narrate the stories, in the way that we try to ask black people to come to the aid of everyone while we continue to have to pull ourselves up by the bootstrap so thank you guys for watching sandra said what i will be talking to you guys next time don't forget to leave your thoughts your comments share subscribe and let me know um how you guys are feeling and i will talk to you guys tomorrow bye well not tomorrow you get what i mean next time bye